Hello, this is Danette with Diamonds from the Dust. A while back I started a podcast, but after Facebook stopped sharing podcasts, the podcast was silent and there was barely anyone listening anymore. So I ended up deleting it. But God has been leading me to speak in that way again, so I'm trying out a new platform for the podcast, and I'll also be posting it on the YouTube page. If you haven't been there before, there are links to the YouTube page on the website at diamondsfromthedust.com. Also, I did something again and I caused my subscribers for YouTube to be removed by accident. So if you'd like to subscribe, just stop by the page and click the subscribe button and I'd be very blessed by that. The theme for this podcast is hope. I named the podcast Above the Clouds because that is how I imagine hope. I see hope as lifting us above our troubles and into absolute freedom and open space of being above the clouds, above the storms of life and above every problem. Not only that, but I am going to be sharing things that God has taken me through during this journey that will spread hope and comfort to those who need it. I like to keep the episode short if possible because everyone has plenty of enough to do and time is precious to us all. Yet I'm also just going to follow the flow of whatever God shows me to talk about. For this first podcast launch, I wanted to share a little secret that God has shown me about signs when a blessing, promise, or answer to prayer is about to arrive. God often speaks to me through nature and the mysteries of his creation. He's ever-present and always giving messages of his love. Most of the time when God shows me something beautiful and wonderful is coming, everything kind of appears to go in an opposite direction. For instance, God showed me two massive tidal waves of support from him that would be coming to lift us into the promised home that we've been eagerly anticipating. Right after God showed me those huge and immense waves, things went very low. Donations weren't coming in and nothing looked like what he promised. And this is not the first time I've experienced that either. A year ago, right, um, God showed me the waves again. He showed me a giant wave and it was a different wave. Right after God showed me the giant wave and it was support for us, our provisions went really low and it was a struggle to believe that the large wave of support was coming. However, I learned through this process that the low levels were signs of the abundant wave washing over us. Just like the process of healing, things often look worse as a sign that they are getting better. When the body begins to heal, it will start releasing all the bad toxins into the bloodstream, and that will make us suddenly feel sick or feel unwell with bad symptoms. But it's actually a sign that you're having a positive effect of healing. Just before a tsunami hits the shore of the beach, the water will draw back immensely and recede leaving this long expanse of waterless beach exposed. The sudden lowness is a sign that a gigantic blessing has arrived. The same rule goes for when we start facing persecution and attacks from others. When people begin to leave us, unfriend us, unfollow us, or start a swarm of rumors and attacks, that is a sign you're actually rising up higher. It is like turbulence on an airplane. The sudden loss of friends or attacks against your name and reputation is the enemy's last ditch effort to stop you from rising to greater levels of honor and respect as God's chosen vessel of blessing. There is nothing that can stop you from rising. When God says to bless you, you are blessed. No person or witchcraft can stop your ascent and your destined calling. 
but they will probably try and they will fail. God will fill you with his breath of air, like filling a balloon with helium. He will cause you to float up into wonderful places, and those that were attacking you will end up being disgraced and put to shame. That is the Abraham blessing. God will bless those who bless your journey, and those who oppose it will be tripped up and will fall. You cannot escape his goodness and blessing for you. They are attached to you, like the string on a balloon. When others try to pull you down with slander, it only causes you to rise up with more honor. It is like the Israelites when they were being beaten by the Egyptians um, before they went to Promised Land. The more they were afflicted, the more they were increased. Everything becomes a blessing to us, even the bad things, even the attacks. So although some may come against you, they will fall for your sake. God will show me the number 69 when I start going through these kind of signs of blessings arriving. It means that even though it looks bad, it is actually a blessing that is being revealed. The six is being turned into a nine because things are not as they look. He also shows me a geode and how it looks like an ugly rock on the outside, but the inside is full of sparkling gems. Things are not how they look. When you start dealing with dishonor, attacks, hardship, or whatever the opposite of what you've been promised, That is a sign that the fulfillment is about to be revealed. It is like having a baby and everything looks the opposite opposite on the outside, but suddenly from within, what is inside is pushed outside. That is why it's time to celebrate in your sufferings. Because the suffering is only a mask that attempts to cover the good news that is about to arrive. Whenever I start to suddenly lose support of friends, I get excited because it means I'm about to have even more than I ever imagined. God has signed your life with honor, with his name, and nothing can bring you down from the high places where he has made you to be. One night, God gave me a written document that said, You are wealthy now, no more shallow waters. And after he gave me that legal written promise, I went through a time of barely having any money. The natural realm wanted to oppose that promise from coming to the surface. But I was determined to believe. I remember driving in the rain one night with tears pouring from my eyes. I had no money and I was terrified about how I was going to pay for our home and food. God had made me a promise to be my support and that we had wealth. So I kept saying over and over, we are in wealth now. There are no more shallow waters, which for me meant no more low levels of money. My faith was tested while the the world tried to oppose the promise. But then, like a strike of lightning, that night, I received a sudden deposit in my bank for $5,000. It was for a grant I applied to a long time ago. And at the perfect timing, in the twinkle of an eye, I went from not even having a dollar to buy a drink at the store, to having more than I needed and plenty left to help someone else. Even if there is no one left to help, God will be the source to directly bless you and fill you with his lavish abundance. The time of hardship was a sign that God's promise to me was about to become tangible. It was the birthing pains. I encourage you to see everything as the opposite today. Whatever issues that you may be facing, realizing that it is a sign that your blessing has arrived. It may seem dry and barren in some areas of your life, 
but the water has only been pulled back to release an enormous wave of blessings. Your answer to prayer is about to wash over you like a massive tidal wave. The attacks and loss of friends or followers is an indication that you are rising higher with way more. So breathe easy as the negative things present themselves and rejoice in those things as a sign that your fulfillment has come and is about to reveal itself. May your blessings pour in and wash away every single trouble that you have been dealing with. This is an upside down day because those things that look bad are actually about to reveal the best you ever had. Thank you for listening and much love to you and yours. Bye.